Hey Muffin Tops, welcome back to my channel. My name is Damali, this is Smeared Apron. For those of you new to my channel, welcome. For those of you who have been a fan from day one, what up? So today we're gonna be making baked chicken with drumsticks actually. We're gonna be doing a, a quick, simple, easy recipe with just some chicken drumsticks, uh, a handful of some herbs and spices. We're gonna make a quick sauce with it and it's gonna be wonderful. Before we get started, please respect yourself, hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to receive more notifications from me. Ow. So first and foremost, you wanna clean out the drumsticks, wash it under cool water. A lot of channels out there really disrespecting themselves, telling telling everybody not to wash their meat. We don't play that here. This is not the, This is not that kind of channel. We are gonna wash our meat. Everything, every time I cook meat, every time I deal with any sort of meat, we wash our meat. Once you've washed the meat, transfer it to a clean bowl. You're gonna add one Maggi. You're gonna squeeze out one lime or lemon. Both is okay. I prefer lime. I know a lot of people like lemon, but I grew up on lime. My mother always used to always use lime. So for me, lime is just the best. Most channels, I see when they make chicken, they, they just sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on this. Like I said, this is not that kind of channel. We're gonna season our meat up in here. First and foremost, we're gonna add about half a teaspoon of oregano, thyme, paprika, cayenne pepper, and goulash powder. As you can see here, I'm not using any spoons or measuring utensils. We don't measure. I grew up in a family where we never really measured. My mom used to touch fire all the time. So. As far as I'm concerned, we're not that kind of measuring, I'm not that kind of measuring type of chick. So we're just gonna go based on feeling here. And to be honest with you, the chicken turned out fire. We're gonna add about a teaspoon of my tabbouleh mix. Like I said to you, there's one of my videos where you can check out my tabbouleh mix that I talk about using as a base for a lot of my cooking. Drizzle some white vinegar in there. And mix it around nicely. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Then we're gonna put some plastic over it, put it in the refrigerator, let it marinate for about a half hour. Preheat the oven to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 350, 350. I'm gonna grab a piece of foil, put it on a baking sheet here. You're gonna sprinkle some oil on there, spread it all over the foil so the drumstick does not stick. And lay all the drumsticks on top of the foil. Ooh, bitch. Hey! By the way, when I cook, I love to dance and listen to offensive music. It's one of the, my favorite things to do. Oftentimes when I make my videos, you can't see it, but I am jamming in the background. Over a glass of wine, of course. You do not want to throw away the, the sauce from the chicken. You're going to use some of that sauce with a spoon and you're going to sprinkle it all over the chicken. You're going to use that sauce throughout the baking process. So to to sprinkle or drizzle all over the chicken to keep it from drying so it's nice and moist, nice and juicy. To cook, I like to make a little bit of roasted garlic. There's something about garlic that I'm obsessed with. I swear to you, it's crack. So oftentimes I do like a whole roasted garlic. It's so good actually to do this often with each meal. So what you wanna do is you wanna cut the top of the garlic off peel off the first layer of skin from the garlic, not the complete garlic. Then you, I'm gonna put that right in the middle of the chicken. Now, when, you, when the chicken is done, there's a real great garlic aroma smell. Plus, I like to pick at the garlic and eat that with my chicken and with my sides or whatever, whatever it is that I'm eating my chicken with. Oftentimes, I do this when I make pasta. It is so good. Place the meat in the oven. You're gonna cook that for about a half hour, 40 minutes. Check on it periodically. Uh, also make sure you check on it periodically to base the top of the chicken with the leftover sauce. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm going to inhale these drumsticks. <gasps> Don't crowd me. Now we're gonna make some sauce to go with our drumsticks. In the video, I started off, I realized maybe I had one too many glasses of wine but I started off using a small pan, but then I transferred to my Dutch oven. But first and foremost, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of oil into the pan. After that, we're gonna add a liberal size of my tabbouleh mix, like I said, as my base. 
Then we're gonna add one chopped red onion and one chopped scallion, some chopped red peppers, and about one tablespoon and about one tablespoon of tomato paste. So I added about a half a cup in the beginning, and I will add the other half later on. You want to mix that around in there. You can also add the other half of the water, the other half a cup of water. Then you're going to add one magi. You're going to add a little bit of a pinch of thyme, a little bit of garlic pepper, some parsley. I added some cayenne pepper for some spice and mix that around in there a little bit. So you're gonna cook the sauce for about three to five minutes, not very long. After the chicken is done, you can add the meat, you can add the drumsticks into the Dutch pan. As you can see here, it's nice and juicy. You can put all of the sauce in there. It's just marinating really nicely in there. So good. I don't mean to toot my own horn, but my baked chicken game is on point. Usually I like to make a big batch so I can have it for the next couple of days. Two o'clock in the morning when you can't sleep and you just crawl into the kitchen and you know there's some leftover drumstick in there and you're just eating it really cold. Ooh, like a homeless person. It is fantastic. I love it. So guys, that is a wrap. Let me know what you think. Please give this recipe a try. Drop a comment below if you did try it differently. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive more notification from me. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Toodles muffin tops.